Ever wondered why some people can sell ice to Eskimos while others struggle to even sell water in the desert? It's an age-old question that boggles the mind, isn't it? But here's the secret. It's not just about what you're selling, it's about how you're selling it. And who better to reveal this elusive art of selling than Oren Claff, the author of the renowned book Pitch Anything. Claff's book is a masterclass in the world of persuasion, sales, and pitching. It's not just a book, it's an eye-opening journey that teaches you how to seize control, create intrigue, and ultimately, close deals. Whether you're a seasoned entrepreneur or a budding salesperson, Pitch Anything promises to unlock the mysteries of successful pitching. It's a game changer, a paradigm shifter, a book that will make you rethink everything you thought you knew about selling. Stick around if you want to learn the art of persuasion, as explained by Oren Claff in his book, Pitch Anything. Chapter 1, titled The Method, dives straight into the heart of the matter. Here, author Oren Claff introduces us to the strong method of pitching, a powerful tool that can transform the way we present our ideas. Setting the frame is about establishing the context and taking control of the narrative. Telling the story is about creating a compelling narrative that engages and resonates with the audience. Revealing the intrigue involves stirring curiosity and creating suspense to keep the audience hooked. Offering the prize is about presenting the value proposition in a way that is irresistible. Nailing the hook point is about creating a pivotal moment that seals the deal. Lastly, getting a decision is about driving the audience to a point where they have to make a decision. Mastering the strong method is the first step to becoming a persuasive pitcher. Chapter 2, The Frame, takes a closer look at the first element of the strong method. At its core, Framing is about establishing the context or perspective in which your pitch will be perceived. Claff emphasizes that frames aren't rigid, they're flexible, dynamic and constantly in motion. Picture two frames colliding, one will dominate while the other will be subordinate. This is precisely the case when you're pitching, your frame or worldview clashes with that of your audience. The outcome of this battle determines the direction of your pitch. Claff suggests that the stronger your frame, the more likely your pitch will resonate. But how do you strengthen your frame? By showcasing your expertise, exuding confidence and maintaining control of the conversation. Remember, frames are a power play. They set the stage for your pitch and steer it towards a successful conclusion. So, master the art of framing, and you'll have a potent weapon in your pitching arsenal. A well-set frame is the foundation of a successful pitch. The third chapter, The Story explores the art of storytelling in pitching. Claff emphasizes that the power of a compelling narrative cannot be underestimated. It's not just about presenting facts and figures, it's about crafting a story that resonates, that stirs emotions, and that leaves an impact. Imagine you're sitting around a campfire, the flames dancing and casting shadows on the faces of your audience. Your voice weaves a tale that has everyone hanging onto every word, their eyes wide with anticipation. This is the kind of narrative you want to bring to your pitch. You want to create a story that grips your audience, that makes them lean in closer, eager for the next chapter. The story in your pitch is your tool for connection. It's your bridge to empathy. It's your pathway to engagement. So, invest time in honing your storytelling skills, because a compelling story can captivate your audience and make your pitch unforgettable. Chapter 4, The Intrigue, delves into the power of curiosity. This chapter is a tour de force on how to captivate your audience by weaving a thread of intrigue through your pitch. You see, it's not enough to merely present your idea or product. You must spark a genuine curiosity, a burning desire to know more. Creating intrigue is akin to starting a fire, you need the right kindling, the right spark. In the context of a pitch, the kindling is your idea or product and the spark is the unique intriguing element that sets your pitch apart from the rest. This spark could be an interesting fact, a provocative question, or an unexpected twist. When you successfully ignite this spark of intrigue, you engage your audience in a way that makes your pitch more effective. They become active participants in your narrative, eager to discover more. Intrigue is the spice that keeps your audience hooked to your pitch. Chapters 5 and 6, The Prize and The Hook Point, respectively, are all about the payoff. In Chapter 5, the concept of The Prize is introduced. A notion that essentially revolves around the idea of offering something of high value to your audience. This prize, however, is not just a physical or tangible reward. It's the promise of a solution, the assurance of a benefit or the provision of an experience. 
It's the value proposition that your audience finds irresistible, the tempting fruit that they can't help but reach for. The prize is not just about what you're offering but how you're offering it. It's about presenting your offering in such a way that it becomes the most desirable option for your audience. It's about creating a sense of exclusivity, a feeling of privilege and a sense of urgency that compels your audience to want to possess it. On the other hand, Chapter 6 delves into the hook point, a critical element in the art of persuasion. A hook point is a compelling statement, a provocative question or a striking image that grabs your audience's attention and compels them to take action. It's the spark that ignites their curiosity, the trigger that prompts their interest, and the stimulus that drives them to engage. A well-placed hook point is not just about grabbing attention but about maintaining it. It's about piquing your audience's interest and then holding it, about sparking their curiosity and then fueling it, about triggering their engagement and then sustaining it. It's about creating a continuous loop of interest, engagement and action that keeps your audience hooked and wanting more. In essence, the combination of a tantalizing prize and a compelling hook point creates a powerful push and pull effect. The prize draws your audience in, while the hook point pushes them to take action. It is this dynamic interplay of attraction and compulsion, of temptation and persuasion, that forms the crux of these two chapters. A tantalizing prize and a compelling hook point are what push your audience to make a decision. Chapter 7, Getting a Decision is the culmination of all the previous chapters. In this key segment of Pitch Anything, author Oren Claff masterfully ties together the elements of his strong method to move the audience towards a decisive action. Here's where we see the power of setting the frame, telling the story, revealing the intrigue, offering the prize, nailing the hook point, and finally, getting a decision. This is the destination we've been journeying towards since chapter one. Think of it as the ultimate test of your pitch's effectiveness. Have you successfully commanded attention? Has your story resonated? Did the intrigue keep them on their toes? Was the prize alluring enough? Was your hook point irresistible? If you've managed to strike all these chords, the decision more often than not will tilt in your favor. Getting a decision is the ultimate aim of any pitch, and it all boils down to how well you've executed the strong method. So that was a whistle-stop tour of Pitch Anything by Oren Claff. We've journeyed through the chapters, unpacked the core concepts, and delved into the strategic insights this book offers. Let's take a moment to recap. In Chapter 1, we explored the method. Claff introduced us to the concept of frame control, a psychological technique that allows you to steer the conversation and keep your audience engaged. Chapter 2 took us deeper into the concept of the frame, we learned about the power dynamics at play in any interaction and how to establish our frame as the dominant one. In Chapter 3, The Story, Claff emphasized the importance of storytelling in pitches. He showed us that a well-told story can capture attention, evoke emotions, and make your pitch memorable. Chapter 4, The Intrigue, taught us how to maintain our audience's interest by creating suspense and curiosity. Claff demonstrated that a pitch needs to be more than just informative, it needs to be captivating. In chapters 5 and 6, The Prize and The Hook Point, we discovered how to make ourselves the prize and how to hook our audience's attention. Claff illustrated that the key to a successful pitch is making the audience feel that they need what you're offering. Finally, in chapter 7, Getting a Decision, we learned about the art of persuasion and how to guide our audience towards making a decision in our favor. Throughout the book, Claff's overarching theme is clear. Pitching isn't just about presenting an idea, product, or service. It's about understanding human psychology, controlling the narrative, and ultimately, selling your vision and yourself. The lessons from Pitch Anything are not confined to the boardroom or the sales floor. They can be applied in everyday life, from negotiating a better deal to persuading your friends to try out a new restaurant. Remember, the art of pitching is about more than just selling a product or service. It's about selling your ideas, your vision, and yourself. So go out there and pitch anything.